to rollerblade. Don't you think you should have taken those off before you came up the stairs? Probably. Here, your director. Are you kidding? Oh, who's the kid? Maddie. Oh, happy birthday, Maddie. Happy birthday, dear Maddie. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Hey, don't mess me up. Uh, I was singing harmony. What is this, choir practice? Nice uniform. How old is she? Six. All right, Daddy. Give me a nice, simple, off alphabet exploration. Thank God. I am not in the mood for planning those clues. How many of us are on? E, for 12 kids, how many should it be? I give up. Captain Mammal Shelley, Safari Director Eve, Safari Assistant Greg. There's a new Vester. What? Trevor. A guy? What time is it? Uh, 9.45. He's probably not coming. <clears throat> oh, wow, already? Yep. We open on Friday. Huh. Where? Oh, same place, on the island. Family Playhouse this time, though. We saw Steel Magnolias last year. Well, whatever. I just figured I'd slap it up there just in case. Are you Maggie the cat? I am. <laughs> did you just finish the Spitfire Grill? I did, and I gotta work it out today on the tip. Let's guess it by the family name. Oh, hell, there's not one. Uh, maybe Shelly knows. Will you call her? Why? Please. Shelly! Shelly! What is she doing down there? The puzzle. Sorry, I can't scream. I'm saving my instrument. <laughs> Your what? Honestly, I don't want to hear it from you, Scrag. Your voice? Baby, you know who the party's for? Mm, Maddie. The parents. There's no name here. Oh, well, then maybe it's just Maddie and her friends. Headed here on the A train with no supervision. Well, then no, I don't know the last name. Hey, baby, is Trevor a friend of yours? Trevor? Well, he's training today. Well, should be training today. Oh, I hate new people. And I am not in the mood for your little games. Do you understand me, Scrag? Remember, you work these parties, not to attend them. She isn't talking about initiation. No, I dodged a serious bullet on Saturday. Oh, man, I love it when you dodge a bullet. It was that makeup bagel pizza party. Oh, God, no. I'm glad I wasn't here. Well, in walks Patricia. <laughs> well, why is she always here? Well, I finally found out. Not only does she go to Hallowed Heart Elementary, but she's in the third grade yachting club, the Showman Toys Sleepover Society, and the first through sixth grade wall climbing assembly at gym time. Well, we were at the animals. And we were at the Akapi. You know, are they in the zebra or giraffe family? She was the only one with her hand up, and I thought she was going to blow the answer for everybody. Giraffe. <laughs> she was the only one with her hand up, and at the top of her lungs, she screams, Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> and starts laughing all crazy, and then everybody started laughing, screaming at me. It was humiliating. I turned bright red. You know what she said to that? Well, you're red. You're her red. Well, evil does not discriminate for age. So... What bullet, that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, uh, she deserved it. I'll see what you say. I tried to make her spin and puke. <laughs> what? I made them eat all this cake, and then I placed free, freeze dance with them. You know, touch your nose, touch your nose, do the <laughs> twist, do the twist, spin, spin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, but nothing happened. Oh, Shelly hates that. <laughs> I know, but I couldn't resist that modern dancer that was working. She didn't speak any English, and she was trying to get her to stop going, No! No spin! <laughs> <laughs> and Shelly got pissed and said that I'm lucky that she didn't turn me in. Well, she doesn't get that kind of treatment. So if her voice is her instrument, are my arms mine since I carry everything? No. They don't produce sounds. <laughs> oh, baby, that's probably Trevor. Greg, this is Trevor. Trevor, this is Greg. 
Nice to meet you. I'm so sorry I'm late. Well, it's kind of hidden. Don't worry about it. Well, I should have done a test run, but they just called me about this and had an audition and a call back yesterday. Oh, really? For what? A Seashore Musical Theater in Daytona, Florida. Oh, wow. I love Daytona. Well, their season is perfect for me, so keep your fingers crossed. <clears throat> Into the woods. Hello, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Dolly Barnaby, maybe. A Jesus Christ Super... Oh, star. Easy. <laughs> and then there's Beehive. Well, you know it's all girls. Oh, but actually, you'd be good for that. Are you an actress? I am. You should go. They're having a female call tomorrow at the audition center. Baby, that sounds like fun, but I live in Long Island. So, <laughs> this is the jungle fun room. This is like backstage, you know, supplies and dressing area. Oh, here, uh, give me your bag. Okay. Um, I'll put it over here. Thank you. So, um, now there are three different types of roles here. Um, Captain Mammal, Safari Director, and Safari Assistant. Today, I'm the Safari Director. <laughs> Basically, in catering, I would be called a captain. I make sure all the food arrives, the, the door's locked. When we leave, you give the bill to the parents at the end, all of that stuff. Uh, now, Shelly is Captain Mammal. Uh, did the office tell you about that? Oh, yes. Uh, the office was supposed to give me the script. I'm so sorry I wanted to become acquainted with it before I got here, but they never got it to me. <coughs> oh, crap. I'm Doc today. What does that mean? It means for an extra ten bucks I get to dress up like a <gasps> freaking turtle and watch Greg laugh at me. <laughs> oh, are you familiar with the animals here? A little bit. <laughs> okay, we'll do a quick run through just in case. I have no idea. A copy. Seal. Sea lion. Sea lion have ears. Called pinnae. <laughs> okay. A uh, turtle. Close. Spotted brownish turtle. Tortoise. The big guy, as we like to call him, is Muffet. Now you'll hear Shelly call him Muffet but it's not. <laughs> and now the rest you'll just pick up by osmosis. <laughs> oh, this is Shelly. Shelly, um, this is Trevor. Hi. Nice to meet you, Shelly. <laughs> so, you're our new vester. What? Oh, new uh, to the vest. Oh, should I have one of vest? Oh, yeah. They're right over there in that bin. Look for the cleanest and then the one that fits. Okay. <laughs> Why haven't those been washed? Oh my god. Oh, uh, sorry Trevor, the red is icing, not blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this one looks... Okay. Oh, <gasps> what's this? That's Hank. I love him. Oh, me too. <laughs> Scrag doesn't. No? Well, I do love him for who he is, just not what he represents. He started out as this mannequin we found in one of the closets. Now, nobody knew whose he was, so it's Greg Shelley and I took it. <laughs> Adopted it in a way. Now, every year you work here, regardless of leaving for a show, you can add something to it. Oh. I added the vest, the leg warmers, and the bunny ears. Three years. Cool. What about you? We should uh, probably just teach you the songs. Uh, Shelley, I think he probably knows the ABC song Itsy Bitsy and Twinkle Twinkle. Although, I don't know. Maybe I'm giving you too much credit. Of course! Twinkle Twinkle and the ABC song actually share the same melody. Go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. You're right! That vest looks really good on you. Thanks. What's all this? All the people who work here, or have worked here. Oh my god! Look at you, you look so young, you look like you're 12! <laughs> oh, look at your long hair! I know, right? I like the color now, it suits your face nicely. Oh wow, thanks! I like him! <laughs> I'm uh, right there beside her. Aw, you look beautiful, Shelly. You're very photogenic. Thanks. <laughs> Wow, look at all the people. Oh, um, that's strange. Everyone else looks, uh, bizarre. Uh, some people don't care to have their picture taken. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, how did you find out about this job? Backstage magazine. So you're an actor then? Yeah! I just spent a year on tour at 42nd Street. <laughs> you guys must like kids. Uh, did you take this job because you like kids? Not really. Oh, good. So you, uh, dance too? Yes. Sing? Yeah, actor, singer, dancer, in any order. Well, you're just a walking threat. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so does everyone play Captain Mammal? Oh, hell no. I'm just Shelly. I auditioned for it. <laughs> so, you're never um, a safari director or an assistant. Um, I didn't audition to be safari director or an assistant. No offense. They don't believe me. I had to sing, do a monologue. It was an audition! <laughs> well, what did you sing? Give my regards to Broadway. Full voice? Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Herald Square. Matthew Ford, tell all the gang at 40 seconds. Oh, thank you so much for watching this. <laughs> so, what if you can't do it? Is there an understudy? Yes, there is, actually. I've only done it twice. I hate it. <laughs> Thanks. It's different for a girl. Also, it can be a boy. Well, I thought it would be you. Oh, gosh, no. Um, these people could be not so kind, and I'd lose my temper. And I get gas when I get confrontational. <laughs> really? Yeah. You don't win a lot of arguments with your parents growing up when you just start farting. <laughs> it could be a food reaction. A girl on tour had gas pains every night before her number. She found out she was eating too much garlic. The doctor told her to walk like a duck whenever it hit her, and it would pass. A duck? Yeah, and it worked. But then she just stopped eating garlic. <laughs> Is there a bathroom here? <laughs> yeah, it's down the hall to the left. Thanks, I'll be right back. I don't trust him. He just got here. He does seem sweet. Never trust sweet people. What? Candace Riley. She was sweet. She was Miss Teen Alabama. And oh yeah, she was so sweet, so cute, so willing to do anything to help anybody. Everybody loved her. She was the most requested for a roommate when we had to move into that hotel. And then we got to the, the stage. And as soon as those lights hit her during dress rehearsal, something in her snapped. And she turned into a cutthroat teenage lunatic. That bitch made top ten. <laughs> and it wasn't because she was sweet, so beware of him. Oh, relax. Oh, granted, that's probably how you get far, though. I mean, those 11 people on Playbill.com are probably sweet as hell to everybody. What? Eager to know you is eager to forget about you. There's 11? What? There's 11 people on Playbill. I don't know. I mean, it seems like there's 11. I could name them for you if you want. What? She's right. Oh, you're both being dramatic. So, the question of the day is, what's more repulsive? Speaking honestly... Holy, that was fast. I know. I'm quick. Better wash my hands. <laughs> Good. Hi. Oh. Um, so, everything's written here on the ground worksheet. We get one of these per party. All the paper goods are listed, so we just pull the supplies and we set up. Oh, Lord. The display. As you can see, there are no plates. The plates are served, not set. That's important. Oh. Eve hmm? says call office. Oh, crap. Really? Um, can you show Trevor how to do the door? And, um, can you do the welcome sign? I do bubble letters. He hates it. <laughs> I don't hate it. I just can't read it. Oh, hey, it's Eve. Oh, uh, hey, Margaret. No, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll do our best. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we will. Oh. Uh, what? I don't like that kid. Feather hopping chickens! You two? You're gonna pass out. It said call office because it's a celebrity. What? 
It's <laughs> Hillary Parker. Oh my God. Oh, she's my dream best friend for oh. me. The last one I had, we were at Great Adventure, and we were riding that ride where you hang, and as we were going around that turn, she was like, this is so fun, and I was like, I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hillary Parker, last year's Oscar winner, uh, the most powerful woman in her 30s, according to People Magazine, not Hillary Parker, either, are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm positive. They weren't allowed to tell us because they had to sign confidentiality papers. Well, with her divorce from Sam Boss. She's surrounded by paparazzi. Yes. Wait a minute. A uh, celebrity as big as Hillary Parker would probably invite her closest friends to this party, right? I guess. Then that means she would probably invite her agent or manager, too. Personal assistants, publicists, agents, everybody, yeah! That's what I thought. What? What are you doing? What's that? I've never seen that before. It's precisely for a time like this. Well, I don't like the look on... <laughs> what? Um, sit down for a second. I need, I need to tell you something. Okay. What? I know her. Who? Hillary Parker. Oh, me too. I love her. No, 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 no. <laughs> Eve, I, I know her. We went to college together. Okay, what did you just say? We're friends. Friends? Like, what? I don't know. That, that's the thing. What? Oh my god. This is not how I imagined this. She's rich. She has a little girl. She has a place in Manhattan. I never even thought about this. Maddie. Th that's right, Maddie. She's going, baby, you have to clear this up for me. I, I, I don't think I can do this. Do so what? This. The, this or, the, or this? This. Don't tell her I'm here. What? Eve, don't mention my name. Just don't. OK. OK. Oh, she can't get that. OK. OK. Okay. <laughs> Don't think of anyone else. Mama's little piggies. Those mama's little piggies. I just saw Harry Parker. She's here. What do you mean? It's her party. Happy birthday to you. What? How old are you? You today. How do I look? Trevor! Great, you look great. Oh, I think I look so much better with a tan. Oh, oh the office really pisses me off not telling me about this. Is this typical? Hey, 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 hey. Do it, it's easy, it will help you with your song. Okay. Hey, 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 hey,
Well, I'm sure you know the importance of warming up and getting into character, so I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to go prepare. I sure do. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. See you soon. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about that. No, this is great. Um, uh, Miss Parker, this is Trevor. Uh, I think I saw you at the door. Hi, Hillary. I'm um, sorry. Um, Hillary. Um, I saw you run. Is everything okay? <laughs> Oscar! Uh, no, no. I mean, no problem. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry, what'd you say to me? I'm Hillary. Oh my god, yes you are. I'm so sorry. I'm normal. I'm Trevor. You know what? Um, what? What? Okay, baby. Why don't you go do the door, okay? Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> See you soon. Uh, would you like some coffee? Oh, uh... A little, uh, something, something? <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> no thanks. But coffee does sound great. Um, we don't show this to everybody. <laughs> Just VIPs. Um, you brought uh, quite the entourage. Oh, tell me about it. My mom and dad insisted. Well, they are very sweet, and Maddie's so cute. What a great dress. Thanks. I make a great cup. Come on, I'll totally hook you up. Well, I guess to make coffee, I should get the coffee. Will you hand it to me? Are you okay? Uh, not really. Hillary, what the hell was that? Was that the phone? Is someone there? Who is this? This is Jackson. I'm one of Hillary Parker's assistants. Is she in there? Where? <laughs> the jungle fun room? No. How are you doing that? This is the knowledge center, right? Yes. The jungle fun room. Yeah. It says right here, jungle fun room, feature 302. Oh. Well, no, baby, she's not in here. Scrag and I are in here, and that's about it. You can hang up now. You got it. I didn't know we could do that. I mean, all the years I worked had been schlepping up here. I could have just called. You said my name. What? Scrag. You, you, you said Scrag, didn't you? Did I? You did. Um, well, do you think she was with him? Well, no, because uh, cause he was looking for her. Oh, right. Well, what should I do? I have no idea. What is the big deal? Just tell me. Well, she and I were uh, friends, and then this happened to her. Really? Things got weird. Oh, like what? Um, like I tried to keep up with her, and, and uh, she didn't return my phone calls. And after a while, I, I started to feel like a puppy <clears throat> who never got pet. Were you close? Well, very close. But sometimes now I have to say I've doubted it. I'm not sure. So you lost touch? Um, not really lost touch. More the along the lines of uh, dropped. Does that make sense? Oh my God, she dropped you? Yeah, but I also decided not to pick myself back up. <laughs> I have to go see her though, right? Hello? Yes? It's Jackson. Is she there now? No. Thanks. Oh. Oh, um, um oh, uh, uh. Hey, um, sorry, Eve. Did you see anything on the floor? Uh, like what, money? Um, something 
Like this? Hair? Yeah, but pink. Oh, gosh, no. Okay. Well, I'll look out for it. Thanks. Uh, sure. Maddie and I are just wearing these matching you know, extensions for her birthday. Well, you look great. Thanks. Sure. Ooh, pictures. Oh! Happy birthday, Maddie! Oh, yeah, happy <laughs> birthday, Maddie. Why don't you go tell her? Go! Go tell her! Okay. Okay, now you're making me make a fool of myself. What? I didn't want to just jump out at her. A surprise at Scrag from the past. Oh, never. In my dream of great adventure, did I just scream at her like a psychopath? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to do it. I am. <laughs> Scrag, look. If it's fear, just go through it. Sometimes fear is a door, like a portal. You go through it to get somewhere else. Thanks. But be careful, because sometimes behind the door is a guy with a knife. <laughs> what? Well, how long's it been since you saw her? Um, seen her? Um, I don't know. Uh, pr probably uh, eight years. It was right as she got cast in Too Much Too Fast. Well, that's a long time. Seeing somebody, somebody close to you after that long of a time, it's like a call to the grave. You don't know what you're going to dig up. Um... Uh... Uh, maybe I'll just do all the setup work and she won't know. I mean, I'll miss out on the tip, but I'm fine with that. I mean, Trevor's training today, but technically... No, I think people. you should show up, but just... Oh, I can't find it. Greg? Uh, what are you doing here? Do you work here? Hey! <laughs> It's Greg from the pack. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I heard it was your party. You look great. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, you, you too. How have you been? Um, as, as best as I can. <laughs> okay. Um, as much as I'd love to pull up a chair to this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello. How long has it been now? Um, eight years. <laughs> uh, how, how long have you worked here? Um, a, a good long time. Are you still auditioning? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Hello, Ray. Yes, Jackson. Molly is looking for you. I'm on my way. You got it. <laughs> I gotta go. It's so true what they say about mothers and daughters. Just a few minutes ago, she was rolling her eyes at me. Are you coming down? Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Yes, uh, I have to set up the cafe, and, and then I will. Great. Um, I'll see you down there. Scott Gregory Hudson. <laughs> this is great. This is great. This is Eve at the zoo. We have you confirmed for pizza at 11.15. Okay, great. We'll see you soon. Oh, um, don't, don't forget a bag of ice. Okay, thank you. Hillary Parker said they're all here. Okay. <laughs> they all came at once. Well, sometimes they do that. Well, so now what? Well, uh, just go out into the theater and, you know, have fun with the kids. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, feel my heart. Oh my god. <laughs> Shelly, come in. I oh. forgot my pith helmet. You're not gonna believe this. You've gotta guess. Um, guess what? You got a movie? No. Uh, the hippo's pregnant? No. You finally blew that guy from Ed Lobster. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. 
No. Squig knows Hillary Parker. What? They went to college together. Oh, Eve. Oh, I am not making this up, Shelly. How would we not know that? I have no idea. Friends? Yeah. Friends, friends? What, what does that mean? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have told you, but I had to get it out. Well, am I supposed to act as if I don't know? I don't know. Well, that's rude. I mean, when I think about it, I would tell you all if I was friends with Hillary Parker. That's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Well, you are friends with all those people. From my Greece tour? Please. I am not friends with Sally Struthers and Jasmine Guy. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're, we're friendly, but wait a minute. Do you think Scrag is a fame friend? What the hell is that? It, it's a person who is friendly with a star, like in a church choir or a show or whatever, and they claim to be real friends. I mean, they talk as if they're real friends, but friends they are not. They are fame friends. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrities have a lot of them. Something to think about. Yeah. I'm thinking right now. Hey, um, have you seen the centerpieces? Are we out? I have it. She ordered one? Well, two, actually. Oh, uh, well, if I don't find any, I'll come up with something. Here, I'll finish up. You can go down. Well, are you sure? It's almost circle time. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to be singing the ABCs in front of Hillary Parker. Oh? Could you imagine? Wait, because you're embarrassed? Well, for Hillary, yeah. Because of the job or because it's you doing it? Both. Wow. You would feel the same way. Well, no, actually, I wouldn't, because I really don't know what way it is. Friends. Apparently, that could be anything. Okay, okay. Men. Men. We were classmates. We were both in the theater track at school. Look, I don't tell many people this, though. So I'm gonna have to ask you, and you're gonna have to promise that you just keep this to yourself. But this one night, I, I didn't know her all that well, but she came over because we were in a scene together for class. And after we started working on the scene, we started talking about the characters and stuff, and instead of working more on the characters, uh, we um, finished a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> they gave her a lot of stress in school, I remember. Especially that first year. People couldn't tell if she was cocky or talented. But I was thrilled. I had seen her in a production of Picnic that semester. and She was incredible. Like nothing I had ever witnessed. <laughs> Did you see too much too fast? Oh God, yes, yeah, she was amazing. Yeah, like that, and at 18. But we, um, we hit it off and uh, continued to um, hit it off. <laughs> and it hasn't been the same. We were friends, and really that's that. Uh, did you know Sam Boss? Uh, no, I, I mean, I said hello to him, but no, I did not know him. I can't believe that you never told me this. I stopped telling people it got old. What the hell are you all doing? Oh, here? Shelly, I'm sorry. Time got away from me. Are you done? Is it time to go out and see the animals? Well, hell, Eve. Yes, it is. But did no one tell Trevor what the hell to do? What do you mean? Well, maybe I shouldn't call him that since that's not what he's calling himself. What? He's calling himself Trevor Amphibian. Oh, yeah. He keeps interrupting me, saying all this stuff like, is it Earth Day? No. Is it Valentine's Day? No. Well, then what day is it? What day is it? It's Maddie's birthday party. Oh, that's cute. Oh. <laughs> that's cute, huh? That's what you have to say about it? Well, we'll see what you think when you're hiding one of them hats. The birthday girl said to me, I want one of your hats about mine. And before I could tell her, oh, the gift shop has one, Trevor said, well, maybe the animals have hidden one for you. Hidden Eve, Easter Bunny, hiding, hidden. So grab one of those hats and stick it somewhere, because your ass is hiding it. Why would he say that? Did you give him any boundaries? He's not a kid. No. 
We did not give him any boundaries. Well, either of you better tell him to shut the hell up. I'm not kidding. This is my show. <laughs> well, if it's your show, shouldn't you, um, attend it? I'm in a dilemma. <laughs> I see. Fate, right? I should tell you, but then Oprah says doubt means don't, so maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> what? I told you we were in timeout, kids. Jungle fun parties was in timeout, kids. Top 10 kids parties in New York City. I brought in the magazine two months ago. It's right there. Oh, yeah. You never even looked at it, did you? No. <laughs> Why do I say anything to you? Look, unlike you, I'm going to do the right thing. When I was rudely upstaged by Looney Tunes down there, I heard someone ask him if this was the party from Time Out Kids. Of course, he didn't know, but before I could answer, Hillary did. She looked at him fast as this and said, yes, it's the one. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what you would have seen if you had bothered to look is that our pictures are in there. She knows you work here. Well, it is time for the tour, and I'm going to be the one leading it. Make sure the pizza's cut in double slices. There's six. <laughs> boys and girls, if you look closely by the edge of the water, you'll see our two hippos, shaggy and dusty, sleeping in between those two rocks. Now, most of the time when you come to visit, they'll be asleep, because they are most active at night. Despite their gargantuan size, they are very graceful in the water, and because of their weight, they can literally sink down and run or walk along the floor. Now you may ask yourself a very common question we get. Are they sweating blood? <laughs> no, they don't have sweat glands. Their pores secrete a red pigment that only resembles blood. <laughs> Okay, everyone get a good look? All right, let's get back on the birthday vine. We have one more stop to make, and then it's time for pizza and birthday cake. So, Maddie, why don't we get you in front and you can lead us to the monkey house? Maybe the monkeys have the birthday pet colors. Right, Captain Mammal? <laughs> That's right, Trevor. Perhaps they do. Trevor and Billy! <laughs> Trevor and Fibian! <laughs> what are you doing here? They're out in the zoo. That was stupid to go out there. Some woman recognized me by the bobcat? Sprang up like a freaking jackrabbit. Look at that. A hyena? Well, then a jackrabbit hyena hybrid. And it only takes one. As soon as I signed for her, it went crazy. God, now with the cell phone. Ugh, it's like a cell phone. It's in my face, taking my picture. I saw that picture of you and people with your brother on the beach. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> yeah. And the headline was like, Sam who? It's gross. I mean, the party was just staring at me. I know you guys are on a schedule and it broke my heart, but I had to tell mom and dad to take her head. Eve stayed with me while I signed 10 or 20 things. She said she would help me find the group, but I told her just to let me back in and I'd wait up here. Well, you shouldn't sign every autograph. You're too nice. So I hear. Nobody tells you once you're famous, your new job is staying famous. I know this is you, by the way. I don't know what it is, but it's got Scrag Hudson written all over it. <laughs> well, they'll be back soon. So if you yeah, want to. I know. I mean, 
I knew this might happen when I booked it here, but Addie just loves animals so much. I don't know where she gets it. I mean, I care about animals, but she's got a whole different spirit about it. She's connected to them the way we all should be. She says that she's going to be a vet and a ballerina. It just sucks because I'm going to miss her finding the birthday pet helmet. The what? <laughs> the hat, or whatever it is you guys hide for her. It's at the end of the tour, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's new. Uh, that was Trevor's idea. Well, they're totally buying it. It's good. They, they love it. Well, don't tell Shelly that. Well, I told Eddie to get a good vertical and a good horizontal shot when she finds it. Well, I go on. This is an interesting place. It's like a closet and a trailer all in one. Huh. <laughs> That's a funny way to look at it. Shelly and Eve seem nice. Yeah. Are you guys friends? Yeah, I think we are. You are. I can tell. You know, every time I see a cheerleading competition on TV, <laughs> I think about you. Oh, God. I will never forget it. We were supposed to be learning our final scene from um, Dr. Locken's class, and instead we ended up drinking and watching ESPN cheerleading. <laughs> that shit was incredible. And we improv that entire scene from the Miss Firecracker contest. Just made it all up. And you were so great, we got an A. It wasn't just me. You were great, too. <laughs> yeah. I thought about calling you a lot. Well, you didn't have to. Your life changed. I changed. Nah. No, I did. Or I was changed. Well, that might be true. I remember the last message you left me. You said how proud you were of me, and if I ever needed anything, you'd be there. I remember. And then you said, I know you're busy, so you don't have to call me back. Yep. I took you up on that. Well, I'm, I could tell. I mean, other people needed you. I, I remember that friend of yours, the one that would call you every day. She still does. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I had like 20 more to that now. Well, you have a lot of attention on you. I've made some bad choices. You know, one of those bad choices was putting strangers first. I mean, my whole life has been centered around strangers handling me, writing me, talking all around me, and they all wanted to talk to me, and I tried to do it. I tried to it all. It's exhausting. I thought that making each person feel special was the right thing to do. Obviously, I shouldn't. So what is going on for you? I'm not sure. Do you have any shows lined up? Auditions? Huh. Yeah, I mean, I have some auditions lined up. I mean, we'll see if I go, though. I mean, I write them all down, but I, I never go. Yeah. It all changes, doesn't it? Some things don't, unfortunately. So, um, how'd you find out about this place? Eve! Did she find it? Oh, she did! She's wearing it! She's so cute! Um... They're about one minute away, so if you want to go down to the door, the coast is clear. Um, they're right in front of Snow White and Rose Red. Um, you could take a quick picture of you all together if you want. Oh, great. That's, that's a great idea. Thanks, Eve. Thanks for staying with me and everything. Sure. It's my pleasure. Hey, 
So, um, did the pizza come? Um, uh, yes, uh, but they forgot the ice. So I walked down to the snack bar and I got some. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So, why is she here? So you tell Shelly, and then Shelly tells you, is that how it works? No. It's fine. I mean, I don't know. I can't ask her. No? Well, what am I supposed to say? It wasn't meant for me to know. Are you surprised? Huh. There's one thing I know about Hillary Parker. And it's even though she makes it look like she just stumbles into things, she doesn't. So no, I'm not surprised. Here, uh, you take the ice bucket, and uh, look what I made for the centerpieces. They're great. <laughs> They're all right. <laughs> Okay, as we go back inside, there are bathrooms to your left and to your right. But go slowly, and remember, we're not going into the theater, but into the Kangaroo Cafe. Now go down the hallway and turn right at the photo of the squirrel monkey. But children, don't be scared. Even though his face looks like a skull, <laughs> it's just fur color patterns. <laughs> Okay, everyone, wash your hands and then grab a seat at Maddie's birthday table. I smell yummy pizza! <laughs> Trevor found some balloons and he's doing fucking balloon animals! <laughs> oh, I am so ready for this to be over. Oh, Sally. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Goodness, what's that? It's a three bears. Sweet heaven, it is. What's this little thing? That's baby bear's bone. <laughs> oh, what's the use? Oh. Look at these invitations. They probably cost more than my rent. Zachary with a K instead of a CH. <laughs> Do you remember him? I asked him if he was excited about his party, and he said, Oh no, this isn't my real party. This is just for the kids at school. My mom said we have to have this. My real birthday is next weekend at the Cape. <laughs> Don't you ever feel like we're just adults doing a high school job? Well, not till just now. <laughs> I'm sure Scrag told you what happened with that kid's father. That party where he tried to make that girl spin and puke. No. I'm so mad at him. And I went to the closet to get a mop just in case, and as I went inside, I heard the kid's father say, lock her in there. And then I heard some of the other adults laugh, and they shut the door not knowing there wasn't a handle inside. Oh, I just stood there in the dark for a second. It felt so strange. I had to knock and Scrag had to come let me out. It was humiliating. Are you sure he didn't tell you about that? No. Hello, Eve? Monkey has. Okay, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I hate him. <laughs> Hello? You've reached the ticket sales. Oh, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> Stop it, I mean it. Hello? Hey, uh, Trevor, baby, is that you? Scrag said to get the cake supply box. Oh, okay, thank you. E? Yeah? I made you a tickle sword. Thanks. E? Yeah? Uh, do you know who that guy in the Navy Blazer is? No, baby, who? Oh, that's what I mean. I don't know. <laughs> he keeps catching my eye and trying to get me to go over to him. Well, I wouldn't hide from him. Go see what he wants. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That better not be who I think it is. Move! <laughs> some kid is refusing to eat his pizza until he has some purell. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what do you think of Hillary? 
I think that's a loaded question. Well, no. Honestly. I think she's the star of Mr. Maybe and too much too fast. I think she shouldn't wear that orange dress that she wore from that Golden Globes again. Oh. And she seems nice. Do you think she is? What, nice? I don't know. As long as she's nice to me. I guess that's true. I don't want to be her, if that's what you mean. No? She had to deny her own party to save it. When we walked back to that building, some woman said, Oh, is this your party? Is that what all the commotion is about? And she said, Oh no, that's not mine. And everybody at that party, they went on without her, like robots. I gotta get my ass down there. We're running out of napkins. Oh good, baby. Um, just grab one package at a time. You tell me, and I'll add them to the bill. Cool. Oh, Eve, I talked to that guy, the one in the navy blazer. Oh, good, baby. I want to hear, but in like ten, okay? Okay. Um, can you spot me on the stairs? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you. Sorry. You. <coughs> what? You don't even have to say it. I saw. What are you talking about? Oh, look at you playing it so innocent. Please, you are loving every minute of this. Everybody's talking about how great you are. Oh, hail Trevor Amphibian! What? Wait a minute. Okay, you're insane. I'm loving this? This is my first day. Yeah. I love not knowing what I'm doing, having to step into something I don't know, making up all this stuff about animals I've never even seen, on the spot in front of Hillary Parker for crying out loud, who can't even put a cohesive sentence to, and her daughter and her friends. Are you kidding? You know what? You can have it. After this party, I'm so out of here, I don't need this, and you, you, coming off your tour of 42nd Street, you can have my role. I'm sure the office knows about this. They're probably just trying to get rid of me. You're probably a narc or something. What? A narc? Are you mental? Taking over, you mean, <gasps> as Captain Mammal? I mean, there's Cheesy, and then there's Cheesy! <gasps> cheesy, do you have any idea what Captain Mammal is all about? Well, I know it's a step up from the guy out there on fifth, dressed as the Statue of Liberty, who blows through a whistle every time someone puts a quarter in his cup. <laughs> More than that, she represents the environment and the animals. She represents the wildlife foundation of this organization. Well, excuse me, remind me to get a picture. Oh, look, little Gary, come here, look. It's Minnie Mouse meets Mother Teresa all wrapped up in a onesie <laughs> like crazy. And you think I want to do this? Um, no thanks, clowny. <laughs> well, it can't be that clowny if it got you a manager. Got me a manager? Are you kidding? I know. I saw it happen. Excuse me? You just took his card smiling. You didn't even think about it. I was right there. What? You just took his card, his business card. I saw you. Yeah, I took it. Do you want it? Uh, it really doesn't work that way, Trevor. Uh, yeah, actually, it does work that way. Do you want it? Because I sure as hell don't. Here, take it. It's to be his frickin' nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly. Please leave. Shelly, what is this? Seriously. Scrag, please. Whatever this is, I know that it's not about Trevor. <laughs> really? Well, is it? Am I wrong? And you're so cool with him. You don't even talk to him. You despise him so much, you can't even deal with it. <laughs> can't even deal with it? Look, Scrag, you put up a good front, but I know you. And whether you choose to acknowledge it or not, I am you, and that makes you crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. Actually, I do. I always do. That's how I got Miss Virginia, and that's how I got the Grease Tour, and that's how I was the first Winchester United Methodist girl under 10 to play Mary in the Living Nativity. <laughs> All right. I hallucinated, I know that I went too far, but damn it, if I didn't want that card, Scrag, 
The difference between me and you is that I'm just honest about it. The living nativity. Did you want to play Mary because she was the mother of Jesus? Or because she was the lead? Oh. And who were you, Scrag? Did you settle for playing the sheep? Hillary Parker's sheep? What did you just say to me? I think you heard me. I never settled for a sheep. Look, I'm sorry that I didn't know what to do. Ah! <laughs> they wanted cake. I knew that you would want to sing. <laughs> I tried to sell them, but they turned on me like animals. I'm sorry, Trevor. Um, you got the candles? Got them. I got them. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Camera's ready. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Happy birthday, <laughs> Yeah. Happy birthday, Yeah. Happy birthday. walking around licking her breast. <laughs> Eve says you clean it and you put a napkin around it. Good grief. Shelly, seriously, have you never done this? I didn't audition for this. <laughs> Look, Greg, I know that you think I'm a weirdo, but I auditioned for a show. Really? Yes, and I, 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 I told them how I wanted it, I negotiated. <laughs> oh my god. It was in Backstage Magazine. If they wanted some asshole, they could have put it in the regular paper. <laughs> I am Captain Mammal at the New York City Zoo. And it may not be much, but... Right now, nobody else can say that at this point in time. It's me. It's Shelley Fitzgerald. It's all I have. Well, you have it. What? Whatever it is, what I lost. What do you mean, what you lost? I mean, I had it when I met you. I mean, I came here to act. That's what I told people when I left. <laughs> Actually, worse. I said, I'm moving to New York City to be on Broadway. 
What's the problem? You were doing fine. Yeah. You work! Shelly, I last played a dancing fish in Sally's underwater adventure. Before that, you were in Tartuffe. At my hometown theater. Did you get your picture in the paper? Yes. See? And, and, and you were in that storybooks tour. Again, an animal. I was a pig. <laughs> you were the straw pig. You, wait, yeah. I was with that group that saw it. And you were really funny, and, and you do tons of stuff, you know, readings and stuff like that. But I, but I, I, I never had that launch. I mean, I, I, ne I never took off in something. I just think I missed the boat. For some reason, I just didn't get picked up when everybody else did. Maybe I never will. Not because I'm not talented, just because I'm not what they're looking for when they're looking for it. It sucks. And I'm just a jerk waiting at the shore for some ship to come in that's probably not coming. Well, that's what we're all waiting for. But I can't lie to you just to make you feel better. <laughs> what? I don't think it's them. I think it's you. I think your dreams change. My dreams? Ask me what my dream is. What? Go ahead and ask me. What's your dream? To be on Broadway. Now what's yours? I don't know. See, that sucks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> ask me again. What? Go ahead, ask me. What's your dream? To be on Broadway. Well, some people ask for it by name until they get it. Well, I don't know if that's true. I mean, I want it. I just do the best possible job I can every chance I get. I mean, for God's sakes, Greg, I was Marty in the Grease Tour. And somehow I convinced everybody that Marty Maraschino was the pivotal role in the storyline. <laughs> But that's what you do, right? You just do the best possible job you can every chance you get. And you were stellar. Really? Whoever steals the show wins. <laughs> Thank you. But look at this place. I mean, for real, look around. This place is yours. And even though you won't be safari captain or Captain Mammal understudy. <coughs> this place runs like clockwork because of you. You know, I think you're the reason that we were in Time Out Kids. Because we were standing in front of that backdrop, the one of the hippos on the riverbank, the one you made. Uh, but I don't want to do kids' parties, I don't. You are missing the point. I don't think you should do kids' parties, God no. But you know what, I, I don't think you can help yourself. I think you want things to be better than they are. I disagree with you, Sprague, you have drive. You're just in the wrong car on the wrong road. But this is what everybody's rooting for me to do. Everybody who? My friends, my family. People don't root for things, they root for people. I <laughs> mean, for years I thought I was making my dad's day because he'd come and see me do all these roles and then I found out last year he hates musicals. I mean, he comes and he sits in the audience but he does that because he's proud of me. If I worked in the office, he'd come and have lunch with me in the break room and then take a picture of me in my cubicle. <laughs> I think people care more about the part you play in their lives and less about the part you play in this business. Thanks. That means a lot to me. Uh, you don't want to be like Hillary, do you? I mean, not her type, but a megastar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's where I got my car pointed. You do? Fame. It's all I ever dreamed of. <laughs> success. Well, no, it's ultimate success. Yes. 
ultimate success? Well, you have success in losing your price. Still, the money would be great. And it would be fun to have people recognize you. It's fame. It's, it's all I've ever dreamed of. Magazine covers, premieres, parties. Yeah, but if you slip, they'll call you fat on that same magazine cover. <laughs> well, the grass is always greener, right? <laughs> and it is. But then, when you get there, you look around and you realize that the trees are dead. Well, I'm getting locked in janitor closets now. Hey, we have a request for the Jungle Book soundtrack. Oh, do you need me? No, they're fine. They're just finishing up cake. I know, but technically I should be down there. There should be at least three. Well, Trevor's the third. He's doing great. Actually, though, um, we do have a bit of an issue. Um, somebody brought a pinata. Oh. I mean, I told them the rule, but I figured, you know, I'd check with you because, you know. OK. Um, just put a line of masking tape around it and tell the kids they cannot cross it, absolutely not, and if they do, then the game is over and you'll open it up for them. Got it. Oh, and uh, no blindfolds. Right. Well, I found my extension. Trevor was playing in the tail on the hippo with it. <laughs> I was like, my turn. <laughs> Sam's parents just got here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they've created a wall around Maddie. I can't even get to her. They think the whole divorce is my fault. Well, is it? Probably. Does this um, door lock? Why? Uh, Jack Daniels. <laughs> Just like old times, right? <laughs> My mom remembers you, by the way. She um, remembers when we did the foreigner together. Here's to that. Here's to that. Why do you think it happens? What? Us losing touch. Oh. Um, well, I think it got to a point where uh, we really didn't want to see each other anymore. And we'd call and say hey, and then we um, <coughs> stopped calling to say hey. I think we said goodbye. But I don't get why, because I never expected to. Me either. I'll admit something to you, Scrag. It was hard for me to distinguish a fan from a friend. I have you on video tape. Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> Some vintage Hillary Parker. At the People's Choice Awards, my first People's Choice Awards for Mr. Maybe, that year was really hard. I mean, some of my friends were wigging out. Jessica from college, she asked me to be in her way. I had my first national press tour, and it was the date of the LA premiere. I couldn't. She hasn't spoken to me since. I had to sacrifice some things in the beginning, and people just didn't get it. Weddings are just something that we missed. You know that. Anyway, at the awards, someone said to me, I know what you're going through. We all do. And so I asked, what is happening with my friends? And she said, here's a picture to imagine. There's an escalator in front of you. 
You can either just stand there for the rest of your life and watch those steps shrink in front of you, or you can get on and see where it goes. It leads to another floor, the one you're on now. Some of your friends may act bizarre because they didn't get one, but I promise you, you will see some of them again. See, you described it different. You're a whole different person. You don't see fours. That is probably the nicest thing that anybody's ever said to me. It's true. You have a freaking Oscar. <laughs> it's true. And apparently, I might have another one next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hillary Parker, Mr. Maybe, has been offered the role, the title role, of Sylvia Finn, the motion picture biopic of the wife of the great Harold R. Finn. <laughs> What's that? It was in Entertainment Weekly last week. Why did you come here? What do you mean? Shelly heard you. Tell somebody that you saw the article in Time Out Kids. It's my picture. To do this. I don't know to take back what fame stole from me, I guess. Scrape. Would you have any interest in being my personal assistant? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Jackson's leaving. He's moving home. Tell me this morning. He, 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 told, he told you this morning? Yes. This morning? Before your six-year-old kid's big birthday party at the zoo? I bet you if I went down there and asked him, he would tell me that he's three days over his two weeks notice. I bet if I asked him his grandmother is sick in England or something equally as heartbreaking. But you won't let him go until you find a, re a replacement. Because you can't bear to think of having one last person saying yes to you. I think it's time for you to go. What's this? It's you. Oh, a traitor! Well, how would you like if somebody came up to you while you were on the floor of the stock market and they said, what do you do? You asshole! <laughs> um, Eve, who was that? Oh, did somebody tick me off? A line was crossed. Eve, what happened? Well, first of all, who is it, the guy, you know, in the golf outfit? Oh, the friendly guy? Yeah. That's my cousin. You can say whatever you want, though. I don't care for him. He thinks it's funny to boo me. He does. Every time he sees me, boo. Oh, he's a jerk. Yeah. What happened? Well, he's cute. And, you know, he was flirting with me while I was cleaning the table. And, you know, he was just helping, asking me questions, flirting. And he said, what do you do? And I said, what? He said, you know, are you a model or, oh, an actress? What do you do? And I said, this, this is what I do. And he looked at me, dropped the tablecloth on the table, and walked away. Just walked away. Oh my god, I will kill him. Oh, don't worry about it. He keeps apologizing to me. I made it perfectly clear what I thought about that. You know, I get this all the time. I'm sick of it. Well, tell him you're an actor. That's you here, isn't it? Oh, it is, but I'm not professional, not like these guys. Well. What does that have to do with anything? You're an actor, Eve. Say you're an actor. <laughs> you think? Um, yeah. Say you're an actor. <laughs> do you need a, a little break? Oh, um, Trevor said to do this. <laughs> Trevor said to do that? Excuse me, Hillary? Yes, Jackson. Maddie is looking for you. I'm on my way. You got it. Can I wear that? What? That kitten wrapped in leather? The fruit bat? Sure. Just to get out iPads, though. iPads? Those are the papers. <laughs> Big titty say what? <laughs> <laughs> Eat, go after me. The dog 
I know that. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah! Did I miss the pinata? Oh, you did, honey, but um, actually there was a little bit of an accident. Oh, oh, don't worry. It wasn't Maddie. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see everyone is finishing up cake. But before you go, Let's give one more happy birthday on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Maddie! And let's give a big round of applause to Maddie's mom for a wonderful party. Maddie and her mom want to thank you personally for coming out to celebrate their special day. So please see them at the door for your favors and to wish Maddie one final happy birthday. <laughs> you all to come down there. She says she has a present for you all. Oh, sweet. Well, it's your tip, actually, but she wants to give it to you. Even sweeter. Um, Hillary, I don't know what to say. Nope, don't know what to say. Come here. <laughs> what am I next here? When Maddie's seven. I might just do that. <laughs> Maddie especially wants to see you, Trevor. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're a fantastic actress. I've watched your movies my whole life. I stood up and yelled when you won the Oscar. You did? Yeah, like a sports team. <laughs> You're a sports team. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I think you better keep this thing pointed down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It was, um, nice to meet you, Miss Parker. Hillary. Hillary. Well, we're so different, you and me. I will see you soon. That is so sweet of you to say. Never trust sweet people. Scrag? You said it. I did not. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> Well, uh, Maddie gave me my tip, and I gave it back to her. I've got some stuff to do up here, so I'm not going back down. No one talks to me the way you do. Well, maybe they should. Does it even cross your mind that I can't act like you? I can't just show up on your movie set and go, oh! You work here? I had no idea. And then see, uh, see if you're worthy of whatever it is I actually came there to do. Does that even cross your mind? Do I ever cross your mind? Yes. But not before this. Sam had just said all this awful stuff to me, and I was trying to just get through it and find ideas for Maddie's birthday party, and my sister had given me a copy of Time Out Kids, top ten birthday parties in New York City, and I saw your picture, and it all rushed back to me. And I, I thought about you for days, and then I thought about something that I'd never really thought about before. I, I thought about how many times you'd seen my picture without planning on it, and how many times it all rushed back to you. I came here to see you. It was stupid, okay? I am stupid. The trigger was not about being my personal assistant. I promise, I promise you, it was not about that. You know that, right? Right? 
What would it mean? What? The job. Oh, um, you basically just help me out and organize things and be my right hand man. In LA? Um, yeah, uh, that's, that's the thing. You'd have to move there. I do come to New York, though, for press after each movie. It's 80 grand with benefits. What? <laughs> Here's my number. What about Sam? What about him? Are you through with him? Do you remember what you said about um, a fan and a friend and how you couldn't differentiate between the two? Yeah. Did it go both ways? What do you mean? As much as you didn't know what to make of them, could they tell? When you wanted somebody to be a friend because you needed them as a friend or you needed them as a fan? I don't know. I guess either way, I just saw myself as lucky. Hillary Parker, always gracious. Greg Hudson, always accommodating. <laughs> it was good to see you. And uh, congratulations on everything. You too. I'll be waiting for your call. the initiation. Oh, God, Shirley, I can't. Don't you think the poor kid's been through enough? Enough? Are you kidding? Look, both of you, no way is Trevor getting out of here without being initiated. And, and, and this whole party can't replace it? No. Eve? Oh, I don't know. The poor kid. But I guess Shelly's right. All right, go. Yes, yes. Go, 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 go! Um, Eve, uh, you'll have to man the camera, okay? okay. Oh. I love it. Trevor! Can you see? I'm here. Um, I'll point you toward the door, so all you have to do is just lunge forward. That's right, and then grab him! Grab him! Uh, well, wait, wait, I, I can't see. I, 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 need, I need a cold word. Oh, uh, okay, uh, wait, uh, okay, I'll say, uh, wait, do you hear something? Oh, and he's coming. In about two seconds, Greg. So, it's been interesting. Wait. <laughs> what? Do you hear something? What? <laughs> <laughs> Trevor! Oh my god! You killed him! <laughs> Why did you do this? <laughs> oh my god, thank god. I'm sorry, are you okay? It's initiation! Initiation? <laughs> well, it's your picture for the wall! <laughs> Well, see, your picture will go up here now. Go on. What? It's hard to get good people to work here. We shouldn't have done that to him. Two people are freak show. Some sort of cult. Wait, wait a minute. In, in, in case I don't see you again, there's something I want to tell you, Trevor. What? You are a toy on a shelf right now. You. And this is the time in your life where everyone you know will get taken off one by one. And you may get taken before you know it. It's just a matter of when and why. But maybe you won't. Maybe you'll just sit there and you'll wait patiently and you'll hang on and you'll think, I'm next. And someone may take you off and look at you for a while, but then they always put you back. And you'll just sit and sit <laughs> and wait. <laughs> and you may have to one day pick yourself off of that shelf. 
and I just want to prepare you for that. <laughs> that is my gift. A gift? You're welcome. <laughs> hey, do you mind if I borrow that bit about the birthday pith helmet? Uh, sure. Uh, so, I'll see ya. Well, wait, wait, wait. Well, when are you on next? On what? Uh, your next party. Well, Saturday. <coughs> I'll be here. Me too? Me too? <sighs> well, we can't promise that it'll be heaven. <laughs> But it will be different. <laughs> I like him. Oh, he'll be back. Unless he gets a Broadway show, and he might. He's that good. Oh, a Broadway show. A Broadway show. What is up with the Broadway show? Well, then he wouldn't have to work here. This is a good job, people! A good job! I don't want to be on Broadway. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be on Broadway. No, I don't. I mean, I wouldn't turn it down. But I'd do it for the love of it. And just because I don't put mountains in front of me to climb doesn't make me any less of a hiker. At least, that's what Hillary Parker says. <laughs> Plus, you do more shows than any of us. This is true. Anybody want Hillary Parker's phone number? Oh, are you going to call her? She offered me Jackson's job. What? To be her personal assistant? Are you going to do it? No. <sighs> Thank God. That is not what you need. You're not going to do it, really? No, Shelly's right. It's too much. It's too much of everything. But I am going to do something. Why? One of the most heartbreaking things I learned about this business is that it can go on without me. But what I didn't learn for a long time is that I can go on without it. Would you leave New York? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, why not? I wouldn't be tied down here anymore. I'd miss you if you left. Um, whatever it is, just do it tomorrow, okay? How about we just guess the tip? Oh, this is tough. Cornelius. Oh, easy. Fifty bucks. <laughs> Interesting. I say forty. Twenty. <laughs> okay. Maxwell. One. Oh. Twenty-four kids. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Maxwell. Happy birthday, dear Maxwell. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you.